Hey there, it's John here with Gen X Grown Up. Now yesterday, from the show floor here at CES 2024 at the My Arcade booth, I showed you these new, uh, what do you have, the Super Player, the Mega Player, and the Game Station Portable, these two new, uh, three new cool devices that My Arcade is putting out here at CES 2024, available later in the year. But right now, I had a really cool opportunity to go hands-on with a Game Station Portable and get a closer look. Let's go. And here he is, what for me has been the star of the show at CES, this is the new Game Station Portable. I think early I was calling it the GSP Portable, that's wrong. It's the GS Portable, that just sounds funny. Game Station Portable is what we have here. Seven inch screen, uh, yes we have the dial. Now right now this is a paddle, not a spinner. It's another one of those things that I've been aggressively talking to my arcade about and telling them just how important it's going to be to have a real spinner here, a full rotational spinner. That's uh, Tempest correctly, that's Indy 500 correctly, that's Major Havoc correctly, right? So there's a lot there. Uh, again, you have the D-pad right here, feels pretty much uh, the standard My Arcade Pocket Player D-pad. And then here's our trackball. I know some people said, hey, that's probably just gonna be a little touch sensitive thing. It's not, it's a trackball and it spins really freely. I can't wait to try that with Missile Command. Now I can't, I'm not allowed to turn this unit on yet. <laughs> the software on it's not finalized, so really what I'm showing you is my impressions of the hardware. Real quickly, I'll flip it around. It has a little kickstand, a nice kickstand to set it up on. USB-C ports in the back. This thing is rechargeable, lithium ion batteries in it. Across the top, you have a home and a menu and a select and a start. Then you have your ABXY buttons here. And there, here's the full keypad. And if someone was asking, is it all there? Yeah, well, just the, uh, the pound number is kind of uh, on the curve, so it's not as immediately visible, but it's a full keypad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, star and pound. That is all there as well. Now, something else that I'll point out that you might have seen in the teaser image that it's important to see here, and that is that each of these controls, each button, the the the, uh, the controls, the, the keypad here, the dial, the trackball, all of them have LED illumination. And the intent is that in the software, when I when I launch a game. <laughs> the light around the necessary controls for that game will illuminate, and that's all. The other things will go dark. So it's another kind of hint and tutorial of how to play games. So 2600 games are just gonna be you know, the D-pad and the A button, that's gonna be it. However, all those other things, depending on what you play, if I need A, B for a 7800 game, those will light up. Or if it's a trackball for Missile Command, that will light up, so really cool. The last thing before we get out of here, I. Hope I touch on all the necessary things is make sure I let you know the price point for this. Now this is not in stone yet, but what they're telling me is 200 plus packed in games, still working on that, seven inch screen, the D-pad, the trackball, the dial, hopefully a spinner, we'll talk about that, buttons, uh, kickstand, all of that. 149 is the target price for this. Uh, th this is, again, the star of the show for me. I think this is really high potential for next year. Uh, we're looking at like September, October time frame of 2024 to start hitting consumers. And uh, yeah, so here we, this is the new Atari My Arcade Game Station Portable. I've said it two or three times already in this video. That Game Station Portable is my pick for the show, being the coolest new thing. Uh, with HDMI out, controllers in, all of that, plus it's the trackball, all that cool stuff. So uh, what do you think about this now that you've had a closer look? I'm curious to know. Uh, look, they're still listening to feedback. Let my arcade know what you like and don't like about this device as they're getting ready to release it. They're going to be adjusting. The final tooling is not done. It's a really great opportunity for us in the community to get our voices heard and let them know what we think to make the best possible product for them and for us. Thanks so much. I have more coverage coming from CES 2024. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.